Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe the, to the channel. <laughs> do whatever your spirit is guiding you to do. If it's just to watch, that is absolutely a-okay. You are doing what you're supposed to do. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Let's go ahead and find out, oh, what in the Nebo source is going on, okay? So we have the Three of Cups out here. You could be invited to some type of celebration. Someone could be sharing something with you, offering you something. Um, there could be some type of celebration going on. It could be that people think that they want something as well. Let's go ahead and, oh, okay, so... <laughs> mercy so what this is what i'm getting is that your whoever is going up against you is is tired of you someone is tired of you this is like someone has like this momentary victory they're celebrating this is not one person this is a group of people they are celebrating they think they've destroyed you, they've depleted you, they've taken everything from you, but you keep showing up, either through work, either on social media, you keep showing up somewhere and it's pissing someone off. People want you in this energy, feeling tired, exhausted, depleted, okay, uncertain. People want you like either like overreacting to something and you don't even know what the heck it is or someone wants to bring smoke to you and you're just like, okay, so we're back to this immature game. We still haven't mature yet. And that's not the reaction they want out of you. Someone absolutely wants to get a reaction out of you because this is the energy that they reside in. They celebrated too early. Someone was expecting you to go like crazy or something with them. Like you were going to go back and forth with them, back and forth with them, back and forth with them. And it didn't go according to plan and they're disappointed. You're keeping your distance from these people or you're probably not even in the situation. This is like you're showing up to work and someone is amped up. They're about to pick a fight with you. They're about to say something really disgusting to you and you're going to react. And then when you react, it's going to turn into a blow. They may have one of their friends or a couple of their friends standing by ready to fight you and things of that nature. And you come to work and they say something to you and you just act like they don't even exist. Mental funeral for people, honey. This is what's going on here. For some of you, there's a woman that wants to pick a fight with you. I'm telling you, they're disappointed because you're not reacting. You are not reacting. For some of you, there's a woman that wants to pick a fight with you. This is in regards to a man. This is a message that I received. This woman wants to get a reaction out of you. She wants to make you seem like you are unfit that this man will be making a decision that is not the right one. And this is not even someone that's interested in her, mind you. For some of you, this is someone that's dealing with an ex and she doesn't know how to let go. So she wants to bring you problems, problems, problems. This is someone unhinged. It's ridiculous. Someone is disappointed. It's like someone thought or a group of people thought they knew you. They have figured out how to destroy you, how to deplete you. The word depletion keeps coming up. So there is absolutely someone or a group of people behind the scenes doing some type of work to drain you of your energy, to drain you of your creativity, to drain you of your abundance. But it's not happening. Okay? It is not happening. Your enemies are scattering like roaches. There's something going on with these people. You may not even be aware, but there's something going on with them. They wanted you in sorrows, 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 but you're not, you're not in sorrows. You are absolutely moving forward. Someone is disappointed that they cannot end you. They celebrated a little too early. They celebrated a little too early. You are stepping into fulfillment. You are still cr creative as heck. 
you are still abundant as heck. It says someone does not know. People don't know what to do. It says, oh my gosh. When is he going to shut up? When is she going to shut up? We've drained a lot of energy out of this person and they're still moving forward. What in the world is going on? Someone does not think you're human. People do not think you're human at this point for some of you. These people are at a loss for words. Someone is absolutely disappointed that you are still abundant. You are still receiving love. You're still receiving some type of opportunity. I did a few reads behind the scenes yesterday, and I was like, I am absolutely not releasing this message out to the public because this is not public material. We have to keep our enemies guessing. We cannot show them everything. So, yes, I do my own reads behind the scenes just to keep in the know about certain things. I don't want my, uh, this car was upside down and I had to fix it. Before I do my reads, I usually go through anything that's in the reverse from a previous read. I make sure I put it back upright because I want my reads to be as genuine as possible. Okay, so if you like watch a tarot readers and there's a lot of reverses in their reads and things like that, that that's not adding up. Okay, reverse reverses are part of reading, but they are not supposed to be common. So, anyways, I would say, yeah, this is not for the public. I'm going to keep this to myself. Absolutely, keep it to myself. So you're still abundant. Someone is still coming towards you with an offer in the, in divine timing. Someone thought they had dis uh, 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 destroyed you. Someone thought they had embarrassed you where you wouldn't be able to walk out with your head held high anymore. Someone wanted you living and feeling ashamed, but you do not. Maybe you're like myself. Nothing we've done in life, nothing that's going on is worth feeling embarrassed about. That is all part of the journey. Someone does not know that, or a group of people do not know that. The fact that it started out with this Three of Cups means that this is a group of people. I'm telling you, you are still abundant. Oh, you're showing up as someone gifted. Someone gifted. Okay? And these people know this about you. This could be why they are trying to drain you of your energy. Drain you of your natural resources. Drain you of your natural abundance. You are naturally abundant. This is also part of the reason why we have this three of cups out here. Excuse me. You are naturally abundant because of your relationship with source, your lineage. And these people are upset. Someone in particular is upset. This could be a feminine energy. I heard Queen of Cups is absolutely upset that your future is still bright. Okay? And this person may want to bring conflict to you. Okay? They want to bring conflict to you. I'm telling you, they want to bring conflict to you. But this whole institution is going down. Okay, they are going down. There's a whole institution here that is going down. This is what they thought was going to happen to you. People in this institution could be facing legal issues. They may want to bring you legal issues as well because you're in this energy. There's a group, there's a person, collective, there's a specific one of you. There's an institution that stole something from you. And they don't want you to have that. So they may want to bring you legal issues to prevent you from being in this energy. But as you can see, you are still moving forward. You are the magician. You are in control of the situation. These people have lost their upper hand. And the only the upper hand they had had to do with the fact that they were acting from behind the scenes. They thought you didn't know what was going on. They were supposed to come in and shake you up disturb your peace, make you feel like you only had the option of working with them. But we fall down, but they're not getting up. They fall down, but they're not getting up. I'm not, I don't want to say we because they don't, 
I don't want source to think that we are part of this shenanigans. We are absolutely not. For someone, there's a marriage that's absolutely crashing. And this is because this couple did something. They went to a high priestess to interfere with some type of union that was divinely meant to be. A higher fent and a high priestess are supposed to be in a relationship. And someone, some group interfere with that and it's not going according to plan. There is absolutely a rule awakening. This is supposed to be like a, this is a divine union between a high priestess and a higher fent. This is like bringing religion and spirituality together, but there's going to be a balance. There's going to be a balance. But there is absolutely an institution going coming to an end. Okay. I'm telling you, there's a lot to say. These cards be coming out in stacks, okay? Someone wants to come in and give you an offer. Yes, I'm telling you, these people are not doing well. This is what they wanted you in. Unhinged, tired, exhausted, fearful, li living with anxiety and things like that. Unable to protect yourself, defend yourself. Someone absolutely did not want you being able to defend yourself, but they were absolutely surprised. They had some type of rude awakening that you stood up for yourself. So this is them now, living in fear and things of that nature. Going through betrayal, the same betrayal they did to you. You could have extended some type of friendship to someone, a genuine connection. You're someone sincere. You were bountiful. You shared with this person with the fact that we have the three of cups out here. You extended your olive branch to someone, whether that was in love or it was platonic. But this person had ulterior motive. They betrayed you in the worst way possible, but still walked around with a mask, pretending that they were sincere with you, but they were absolutely not sincere. Someone had ulterior motive. Someone was jealous of you because of the fact that you are a high priestess, but you are in the upright, okay? You don't have any ulterior motive on like that person. Oh, Lord, there's a whole lot going on here. There's a whole lot going on here, okay? Whatever plan these people have to trap you, to keep you mentally confined, things of that nature, it's not happening. You are still confident, still bold, still abundant, still resourceful. Whatever is meant for you will be coming to you because you are the magician, your work you work extremely hard. You have taken charge of life and you are moving forward. You are absolutely not letting anyone hold you back. You are supported by the cosmos. You have a solid offer coming in. Someone may be compensating you for something. They're going through healing from a betrayal. But this is karma for this person. They have to learn this lesson the hard way. This is because this person partnered up with this group of people. I know we see three on here, but there's, there's absolutely more than three people. Someone is recovering from a betrayal by this group. They thought that they were in something that was the bee's knees, is what I heard. They thought they were on the right side of the track. And they went through some type of betrayal. I'm telling you, and they're recovering. Someone is in the know as well about a betrayal that took place in the past. Someone may have been out here saying that you two were friends, you two were lovers and things of that nature. And someone went to a high priestess and got the truth about the matter. Okay? What an institution was doing behind the scenes, it does not necessarily have to be an enterprise. It could have just been a small institution that was formed just to destroy something or someone. And this person received some type of rude awakening about the truth. They did not know. Someone trapped themselves with this institution not knowing that they were trapping themselves. And now that this person is aware of the truth and wants to separate from this institution, they want to come towards you. Someone betrayed them. Someone betrayed them. And they're having to heal from that betrayal so that they can move forward with their life, move on with their life. You are moving on with your life because you are receiving some type of offer from someone. 
either this institution or someone in this institution, you're moving on with your life. Okay? Lord, it's a whole lot. I'm hearing different sides of the stories. Please excuse me if I'm going back and forth. You're absolutely moving on to karma waters. Ooh, baby. You're moving on to karma waters. This is most definitely about you, Collective. You are moving on to karma waters after a heavy betrayal. People did not expect you to heal. People didn't expect you to heal. Someone is at a loss for words. They don't understand how you heal from this betrayal. You had all 10 swords in your back. And literally, there was no one to help you is what I just heard. We've all been through this before. So this is definitely going to resonate with a lot of us, a lot of you. Someone did not expect you to recover from this betrayal because they had a whole pack of people throwing swords in your back one at a time, all of them taking turns to betray you, stab you in the back. And somehow you managed to heal, you managed to heal and keep a positive mindset Someone does not understand your positivity. Someone does not understand your positivity. It makes no sense to them. It's like, how can you be walking around with all of these swords in your back and you're still smiling, you're still happy, you're still uh, hopeful in life? How? We've destroyed you. <laughs> you didn't destroy nothing. Collective, they didn't destroy nothing. You're still sailing on the common waters, moving on with your life. And they have this tower to deal with. Absolutely have this tower to deal with. Someone in here could be facing prison time, jail time. Ooh. Something did not go according to plan. I'm telling you, you are someone practical. And people don't realize that. You are someone practical. You may be someone that moves in a way that does not seem practical to people, but you absolutely are practical. You are strategic. You know what's going on. You make the moves that you need to make at the right time. You're not into chaos. You mind your business. You stand on spiritual business. Okay? Spiritual business. What is that saying that man sunset, T.I. sunset? I stand on business. Collective, you stand on business. You are sailing on the karma waters, possibly with a king of pentacles. This is definitely a new king of pentacles. It's what I just heard. This person is holding back from a queen of pentacles in their life. Someone may have been married to a queen of pentacles, attached to a queen of pentacles in business or something of that nature. They're holding back from her. You're showing up here in a lot of beautiful, abundant energy as well, collective. The high priestess, the magician, the, the universe is working with you. And now you also are out here in your Queen of Pentacles energy, and you're also showing up in a masculine energy as well, meaning you have a balance of both energy of your masculine and your feminine energy, and you take on which one you need to take at the right time to absolutely move forward in life. Absolutely. I'm telling you, this chapter is over for you. It's over. You fulfill your, I was going to say contract, so yeah. You fulfill your contract in this situation. This was all a lesson for you all, collectives. This was a lesson. You didn't see it as a lesson. That's okay. When we're going through these experiences, we fail to see the lessons in them until they are over. That's when we will see the lesson. But I guarantee you, for all of you that have gone through this, you are seeing the lesson. You are stronger than you were before, wiser than you were before, right? 
You are braver than you were before. You could have been someone that was living in anxiety before all of this debacle took place. But now you are strong. You are healed or healing and moving on with your life. People did not expect you to heal. This is because you are a natural healer. This is something that is within you. It's embedded within you to heal. So this is not something people can take away from you. The universe set it up specifically that way for you to naturally heal. And, uh, and, and this is a gift from source that not everybody has activated in them. This is why your enemies cannot understand how you keep healing and moving forward. They keep doing these little things to get a reaction out of you, get your attention, and they don't understand why they cannot. You fulfill your purpose in this situation. Yeah, you have a new path. I love how this came together. The world and the two of wands. You've ended a chapter, you're starting a new one. I love it. You have a new path ahead of you. And it's broad with limitless possibilities. And no one can take that away from you. You deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. Okay. New beginning for you. Someone could be in here with some type of ulterior motive. It's okay. They won't be able to do anything to you. There's something about resources that some of you are not aware about. And it's going to be brought to your attention. This is something you don't see or something you don't know. And people have been causing mental conflict, causing confusion about this someone does not want you seeing the right path to take they want you to be confused so you can choose the wrong thing and miss out on your abundance but it's not happening okay it is not happening i just heard that someone wants you to be afraid when a masculine comes towards you they want you to be afraid but you're not you have nothing to be afraid of remember Source is watching you. There's divine intervention for you always. I said masculine and the emperor comes out. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Someone is trapped with these people. I think I mentioned that earlier. Someone is trapped with these people and is waiting for their ship to sail. It's like someone has seen the truth. Someone was doing a lot to confuse this person behind the scenes. There was a lot of secrets going on. A lot of mental games, mental conflict, manipulations. And it led to this emperor trapping himself into some type of unholy situation it's like this person was celebrating with these people this is how i'm seeing it they did something to you something in the background and they were celebrating oh yes we defeated this person and something happened this person got sick whether it was a mental illness or something else Someone may have laid with someone they should not have laid with. Someone may have something going on in their body that they need to go and get checked out. Because it's not looking good. Someone celebrated with a group of toxic people too early and ended up finding out that they had trapped themselves. Or so they feel trapped. Someone is realizing that the people around them are extremely toxic and they want to leave, but it's going to take time. Okay? 
they're they're waiting and waiting and waiting this is an emperor that put himself in this situation he, he did not see things clearly he didn't realize they were hiding things from him and he didn't do his due diligence to see things from a higher perspective and he trapped himself into something unholy and now he's just like what do i do how do i get out of this situation dang i knew something was not right why didn't i listen to my intuition for some of you there's a masculine that has some type of handler someone is controlling this masculine it's like every move he makes there is someone behind him watching him making sure he does not make a move in the right direction and that's because they have something on him someone is being blackmailed is what i just heard lord the death is on the bottom someone is being blackmailed which is confining them in a toxic situation even longer but this person wants to leave someone is in sorrow disappointment they want to leave someone wants to leave okay So something I just heard, Collective, is that there was someone waiting to hear some type of bad news about you. Some type of horrible news about an ending. This would be why this is out here on the bottom. Someone was expecting to hear bad news about you. But they got good news. That you're still okay. You're still moving forward. You're still standing your ground. You're still fighting. So the, it didn't come. They're not going to get that good news. They're bad news. To them, it's good news. I think that's why that word almost came out. To them, it would be good news that you are destroyed, but absolutely not. They're not going to get that news. Okay? There's an emperor, and it doesn't have to be an emperor, but since I see an emperor here, someone is stuck in the in-between between staying with this toxic group or moving on. Someone is stuck in the in-between. It's like they are between life and death. Death and life. Life and death. Someone is stuck in the in-between. For some of you, this could be someone that's stuck in the spirit realm. Maybe they've been astral projecting to you violating your free will, stealing from you, stealing energy, and they are trapped in the spirit realm. Someone has something mental going on. There's a lot of source out here. We have to to a source. We have to eight a source. We have to six a source, the 10 of source, the four of source. There are a lot of sores out here. Someone is suffering with mental issues. There's a lot of conflict going on behind the scenes as well. Lots of conflicts. But someone trapped themselves and they want to come out. They want to get out. Someone thinks that they have a contract with you. They want to come out of this unholy. I keep hearing unholy matrimony. Unholy connection. Someone is in some type of stagnation period. They can't come by. You may have had a contract with this person indeed, or maybe they just thought they had one with you. But some of you are meant to pair up with a king of pentacles. This is someone more grounded. Someone self-minded. 
which is surprising because this emperor em, emperors are supposed to be self-minded authoritative not easily swayed but this person is toxic they trap themselves with someone or some people and it's not looking good for them. I'm telling you, this came out this way. So I picked it up that way. There's a lot of fighting going on behind the scenes. There's a lot of fighting. Someone is in a... Uh, I don't know if it's a relationship or some type of uh, 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 partners in crime situation going on. The feminine energy may have emotions for the masculine, but he's not reciprocating it for some of you. And for others of you, these are two people that dated. The woman is holding on, but the masculine wants to leave. So there's fighting behind the scenes. He wants to leave. He wants to be free. This woman may be toxic. He wants to connect with his soul twin, but she's making it difficult. She is making it difficult. Someone received bad advice from a high priestess, and this is how they ended up here. There's a, there's a high priestess that's going through some type of conflict that she brought on herself. She brought this on herself. This is someone with ulterior motives is what I'm hearing, financially focused. This is someone that's all about the money, which means this could be someone that's not even gifted. They've just been using the cards for so long. They understand the meanings of the cards. So they go with the meanings of the cards but they add their own sauce to it when you go to get a reading from them. This woman has caused a lot of conflict for people. A lot of conflict. It's like people are wanting to bring conflict into a union that has not even started. This is how intimidating they are. This is our intimidated. They're not intimidating to us. They are intimidated by this union coming together. They do not want you working together if this is business. They do not want you all together if this is a relationship. They are doing everything to cause some type of hindrance. People may even come in and give you some type of false financial offer to make it look like it's abundant. You're receiving some type of promotion. Give you a check so you do not partner up with your soul twin. But they're going to do it in a way where you don't realize you're being tricked. Some of you, these people are going to come out boldly and just tell you, hey, I have a million dollars to give you so you don't partner up with this person. Can we make a deal? Honey, I have my own way of dealing with people like that and I'm not going to put it out here. I have my own way of dealing with people like that. These people are absolutely fighting this masculine from coming in and giving you an offer. So they may want to pay you out, pay you to go away, pay you to shut up. I'm telling you, pay you to go away. <laughs> They want to pay you to go away. They want to pay you to shut up. You're saying too much. You're living too well. You're too determined to move forward. It's different for all, the, all of you. You see too much. You know too much. You feel too much. You've exposed these people to sides of them that they don't want to know. They don't want to see. They've been trapping people in this institution for decades, in these unholy matrimonies is what we're going to call them. And they are upset with you because you keep exposing them. So they want to pay you to shut up. 
pay you to go away, pay you to not love. Just go away there. We know you know. That's okay that you know. We know we cannot destroy you. So here's this money. Go away. We want to keep living the way we've been living. That's exactly what I just heard. We want to live the way we've been living. So shut up and go away. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know you're an earth angel. We don't care. We want you out of our town, out of our city, out of our state, out of our country. These people don't want you around. They are fighting to prevent someone from coming towards you. And for some of you, there is someone absolutely coming to pay you so you can go away. But, honey, it is what it is. Do you see here? They wanted to trap you in something, but they cannot. You have a brand new path ahead of you. Stepping out on faith. Boldly. Courageously. You're in connection with source. You communicate with source. Right? You are the wisest person in the deck. In this situation, you are the wisest person. You are the fool. And the fool is the smartest person in the deck. People don't know that. And that is because of the approach that the fool has when it comes to taking on different things in life, different paths, new journeys. There's con connection to source, how they view things. Most people, when they have situations going on, things don't go their way. They see it as a problem. The fool sees it as an opportunity to learn something new, to grow, to elevate. So that when they come across that problem again, it's not a problem. It's growth. Some of you are about to be receiving promotions in different ways. A job, I'm telling you, you have a message coming in. A, 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 a job position. Some type of promotion. Okay. You're about to be reaping your harvest. Absolutely. Reaping your harvest. They say no, don't go to her. Why do you want to go to her? Someone is uh, someone is upset that they lost to you. There's a feminine energy that's absolutely upset that she lost to you. You didn't even have to lift a finger. Someone has been pulling tricks behind the scenes to make something look like what it is not. Someone has been pretending to be confident, to be nurturing. To be an earth angel and the truth is out. The real star sea is here. The real earth angel has put their hand up. And this person cannot pretend anymore. And now this masculine one's out. And this woman is losing it. So this is why there's a feminine behind the scenes that may want to bring you problems, do you something, bring you legal issues. And this is because this is someone jealous of you. Someone cannot be you. Someone thought they were better at being you than you were at being you. How does that make sense? I don't know. How do you have time to learn how to be someone else, live as someone else? If you're going to be someone else, who's going to be you? I'm sorry. Are you not you enough? You're toxic, so you don't want to be you. So it's easier to pretend to be someone else. Okay. Someone brought conflict in their own house. It's what I just heard. Someone literally left their house to come to your house so that it could end up with conflict. And they thought they were bringing you conflict. But your ancestors, ancestors were like, oh, no, honey. That is not going to go the way you think it is. So someone is in conflict. Yeah. <laughs> Whew, I said that's not going to go the way you think it is. And the Ten of Wands falls out in the reverse. Meaning someone miscalculated. They thought they were bringing you burdens, but they brought themselves burdens. Okay. 
someone bur burdens on themselves by picking a fight with you, doing something behind the scenes. Someone picked a fight with the wrong person. I'm going to do one more card and then we'll do a recap. Yeah, someone should have gone within. Someone, collective, someone should have reassessed the situation, gone within. Someone was guided not to do something, but they didn't listen. Someone here has a lot of ego. Someone has a lot of mental issues. So they thought they were going to be celebrating. They brought an end to you, but you recovered. And now they don't know what to do. Someone is absolutely as toxic as can be. And they're living in fear. Someone's friends have turned on them because they just don't know when to let go. They betray you. That means that you were friends with this person. You were friends with this person. You could have been a relative of this person that you were very close to, but they betrayed you. And now they are going through the very betrayal that they did to you. You healed from this, you moved on. You healed, you sat down or stood up, lay down, whatever it is that you did, reanalyze the situation. You decided to move forward. And you say, I, I got to keep moving. My shifts will seal at some point, right? But your enemies are in sorrows, sorrows, sorrows. Walking around with a mask, pretending to be happy. They thought they caused you a loss, but they actually experienced a bigger loss. There's an institution that's coming to an end. This is a coat. This is a coven. This is some marriage. Marriage is an institution as well. It's ending. Okay. I keep coming. I keep being drawn to this car. It's like people don't know how you all keep healing, how you keep moving forward. And it's because of your direct connection to source connection to source. Your spirit guide are around you 24 seven. So you may seem alone in the flesh and you're not. Some of you are a part, about to partner up with your divine counterpart. So maybe some of you are uh, by yourself in flesh and source is sending your partner in flesh so that you two can partner up and now people will have to think twice, I guess, before they bring smoke to you. But if you're alone, you're walking alone, and all of this is going on, and you're still defeating these people, honey, that should tell you what you need to know about yourself. You are powerful. You are absolutely powerful. There's a king of pentacles that's absolutely abundant in life, in spirit as well. Some of you are meant to be with this person. I don't want to elaborate on here because you all know while we watch the Karmics Watch 2, they want to know the details. They want the sauce. They want the tea, the coffee, whatever it is they drink. They want to know as well. So I'm not going to say or look into who this King of Pentacles is. And these Karmics are going from readers to readers, getting letter, uh, readings from them. Someone is going to be getting a letter. That word just almost came out of my mouth. Someone, a uh, uh, collective, you're going to be receiving a letter. I just heard this week. You will be receiving a letter this week. Okay. There are, there are karmics going from readers to readers. It's like they go to a reader, they don't hear what they want to hear, they go to the next reader. You're still not gonna hear what you want to hear if their reader is gifted. The messages are going to be very similar. Very similar. Okay? Mm. 
Hmm. Anyways, let's do our angel number. We have 888 on the top. I'm going to read that before I shuffle. It said, as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. I am abundant. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we have 19, and you know 19 goes down to 10, which is one, so completion, 9, 10, something is done, something is completed. Independence and self-sufficiency, oh Lord, what in the world was that? Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work, and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire. I am a pioneer. Honey, I don't know what that other word was that I said earlier, but I am wishing you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness, and many, many blessings to you and your families. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.